Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, um, I've been absent this week. It's been really busy at work and I've just been coming home tired. And I would intend <laughs> to to do a video and it just wouldn't happen. But And this particular video I meant to do on Thursday and earlier today, but I just got busy playing catch up with laundry since we got the new washer. Um, those of you who have been following along know um, it's a big deal. Um, I'm kind of frustrated with it because it's really loud, but uh, you know, anyway, that's, that's another story. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So I got some happy mail um, from Miss Paula. She is crafting by the pond. And uh, if you haven't been following her, you really should. She's got a really great channel. She's really fun, awesome personality, and um, just all around wonderful. And she knew uh, I had put out an APB for the Project Life recipe kits because they never came through my Tuesday morning. And she was kind enough to send one my way. Um, I have I found one on Amazon. It's coming tomorrow, so I'm still trying to get two because those who aren't aware, I'm I'm trying to make recipe books for my kids, and and then one for me. But um, hence my trying to get the multiple copies. Anyway, so she you know was a doll and you know sent me one that she had found. And uh, it got here Thursday, I believe. And um, yeah. So let's see what she sent. And then also, Miss Artsy Ashley had done a 10 crafty things. And she tagged me. So we're going to do the 10 crafty things about me after uh, Miss Paula's um, goodies. So... Let's get started. So this is what I have been on the hunt for. It's it's a really nice recipe kit. Sorry for the noise. I'll close it up afterwards to save y'all from the misery of the plastic. But it's, you know, it has multiple dividers and then it comes with these really nice detailed recipe pages. It's one recipe per side. It lets you rate it, best season. It give, you can label the page numbers. So you've got, you have your green, red, yellow. Actually, what is that? Okay. So green, pink, red, yellow, kind of like minty, blue, and then kind of like a, you know, it says schedule in the back, but anyway. And then this says in the back, recipes I still need. So, like if you know, like I said, the recipe book I'm doing for the kids are recipes from the family. So, if they if there aren't any in here, they can make the list and you know try and get them. But so anyway, that is that. And Miss um, Paula was just you know. <laughs> She didn't waste any time. She said she had it and she was sending it my way and she sure did. And thank you so much, Paula. Then, being who she is, she included some goodies. And here's a card. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to wait. I'm actually watching on the side silently the Great Wall. It's one of the, it's, it's one of those, aww, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. I think this is Stampin' Up! paper, not sure, but super pretty. Enjoy the recipe pages, my friend. I have also sent some small happies for you. Make all the pretty things, X, X, Paula. She is such a sweetheart, and I love her. And the funny thing is, is she lives not too far from where I used to live. Um, I used to <clears throat> I used to live in Sumter, South Carolina, and she 
Oops, sorry about that. She lives a kind of a big town over. I don't know if that's something she once shared, so I'm not going to share that information. But now I wish, like, when I lived there, we had known each other because definitely would have hung out. But that was also, gosh, 12, 13 years ago. So, um, who knows, she may not have been there then. But anyway, so let's see what she sent. So she's got these pretty embellishments on them. And I'm definitely going to reuse the two of these because they're absolutely beautiful. The paper's pretty too, so I'm not sure where she got the paper. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> so, a cute little owl. Um, it's a little clipboard and then the cute little owl notepad. I love owls, guys. Um, as I've mentioned, if you follow my channel, flamingos and pine cones are my craft room. But the rest of the house, I have owls hidden everywhere. Um, it's just something I've always loved. And <laughs> look, she's got some more owls. And then this, uh, y'all know, I'm a huge kitty nut. So super cute little, uh, looks like mini kitty cat notepad with a uh, little eyeball pen. And flamingos and pineapples. Oh, she's got some pics in here too. And let's see. I love these. I am... Uh, Paula, did you get these at the Dollar Tree? I haven't paid a lot of attention to the Dollar Tree. But these are cute. I really love those. Looks like she made um, some adorable clips. Some fall clips. Very cute. I love um, acorns. So, yeah. And then she, she included a couple extra of those bags. And then she has these cute little pics here. Hello, sunshine. Hello, sunshine. Oh, go back there. There we go. So love, love, love. And then I love these little treat bags. Um, I haven't picked any up, but I've received some of these in friend mail. But uh, the cute flamingos and the adorable pineapples. So there are those wonderful little treasures. And then the beautiful sunflower. My daughter will probably try and snatch this one up because she's she adores sunflowers. So, let's see here. Oh, Paula! Aw, I love these. Okay, these are going to... I will definitely be putting these in my cruise scrapbook album. So... I adore cruising and I have a couple of cruise scrapbooks. Um, sadly, uh, because my daughter is in her senior year of college and is doing her clinicals, all of our extra money, well, you, you'd think it goes to crafting, but all of my extra money goes to her because we have to pay for her house and electric and you know, all that stuff. And, and before anybody says anything, she's honor student and works her tail off. And because she does, you know, I want her to focus on that. So anyway, um, and she intentionally took the clinicals where she's at because the hospital she's um, doing this at, she has the opportunity to uh, pick up extra shifts starting in November because she, she feels bad about, <laughs> uh, you know, us sending all our money to her. So that was her way of trying, and it was the only hospital that did it. But that was just, she, she feels guilty about, you know, taking all the money we give her. And it's her way of trying to say, you know, you, you keep some of the money. And yeah. But anyway, because she's in college and all that, I haven't done any cruises this year. And I don't know if I'm going to have any next year. If I do, it'll be probably next September, October. So I, I don't know. But it's going to be a long break, which is... I'm kind of in withdrawal, but in, anyway, enough about that. Thank you, Paula. I love these. And then, let's see. Oh, how sweet. Oh, my goodness. So, it's an owl, and it is, you, I can take the floss and stitch and do the owl any color combination I want. 
So that is going to be a lot of fun. I don't know if you can see the up close on that. So it's a laser cut owl and I can stitch it. So I'll definitely enjoy that. I love doing stuff like that. I got into crafting when I was little, 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 and it was cross stitch. And anybody remember those latch hooks? So anyway, love, love. And then she sent this adorable embossed album and it's cut, like I told you, I love flamingos. And it's got a little Christmas flamingo there. So that is too cute. It says three piece. Oh yeah, two stamps. Duh, Rochelle. So thank you so much, Paula. This is so sweet. And you didn't have to do all this, but I will I will definitely put it to use. And I love all the goodies. Love, love, love. So with that. I already mentioned one thing about me, but we're going to go into the details. There's 10 questions that I have to um, answer. And at the end, I'm actually going to um, tag four channels. Um, and hopefully they'll take up the challenge. So let's get started. So first, my name. My name is Rochelle. And... I will give my last name Crawford because it is on my website. That's about all the information I'll give. Um, as somebody's, if you've been following recently, I just had my account hacked and all that mess. And it's just a nightmare and I'm still trying to get that straightened out. But anywho, so my name's Rochelle. Um, that's question number one. Question number two. How did I come up with my YouTube name? Well, I, I am a close to my heart consultant and my team name is the Delightful Stampers. And I chose that because I do a lot of stamping um, as far as close to my heart goes. For my YouTube channel though, I'm very eclectic in my crafting and I didn't think that was, a, you know, that just, it, you know, stamping doesn't really, you know, it just thinks, oh, all she does is stamp. So I love all crafts. So my name is The Delightful Crafter. So, and that's what it'll always be. I do enjoy it. Um, I thought of some other ones, but yeah. So number three, my favorite type of craft. So right now, I love 3D art. And when I mean 3D art, um, paper crafting, I love my cameo. And with my cameo, one of my favorite SVG companies is called SVG Cuts. And she creates the most amazing cut files. And with, because of her, um, I like to do big houses, just giant three-dimensional stuff all made with paper. So there's that and cards. I love making cards. Um, although I, I dabble in everything, that's my kind of deal right now. But I am looking at, you know, um, mini albums. They're kind of like my new fave. But anywho. So... Number four, where is my favorite place to shop for crafts? Shocker, I love Tuesday morning. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. I'm there all the time. Um, as I've told you guys, I love to find the best stuff, quality stuff, and I love a good price. So, um... Tuesday morning. But I also love Hobby Lobby. I used to love Michaels, but they're just not the same anymore. I, I, if I find what I want, I usually have to use a coupon because it costs too much. I also love online. I love Craft Direct. Um, I used to love Blitzy, but since they're re, whatever it was they did with their warehouse, nothing's ever in stock. And I find a lot on AliExpress as far as embellishments go and Amazon. 
so there. And if I can get to a, like, a local brick and mortar, like, place, I'll go there. Um, but it, I find it hard because I don't like playing retail. But at the same time, if we don't support them, they're all going to wither away and we're not going to have them, which has been, you know, a, it's happened a lot lately. Oh, and Pancake was mad at me today because I was combing him out. And so these are my, my uh, battle scars. <laughs> Anywho. My top favorite crafty YouTube channels. I have a couple. And I'll tell you why. So, for a big channel, I love Sandy Alnock. Um, she is a wonderful Copic coloring. She does, I really like to watch her do her watercolor. She does Bible journaling. Um, and she has some really great classes too. So she's probably my favorite big name craft channel. For the smallest channel, um, it is Artsy Ashley. I do like going to her because, I mean, she's really tiny. Like, um, and she's actually, I think, been on YouTube longer than me, I think. But, I mean, she is posting regularly. She does all kinds. She comes up with stuff that I don't even think of. Like, she'll see something and and she'll just, like... I think it was a couple months ago, she made, she took this jar or cup or vase or something that she got at the Dollar Tree and she turned it into a lighthouse. It was the cutest thing. Um, and she's always doing stuff like that. And, um, you know, she's just down to earth and I just really enjoy her. So she does a lot of DIY and, and, um, so yeah, so she's, I love watching her. The Mad Crafter. Oh my gosh, Monica cracks me up. She, she's, I, I just adore her. Um, that's all I can say about that. If you have not followed the Mad Crafter, you need to go check her out because um, she's just got a really neat personality. Her facial expressions, I mean, as she's talking, I mean, they're, they're priceless. And I just, I just think she's the bomb diggity. I love her. Next, um, Whimsical Endeavors, my friend P, she is a really great artist. She's got some, um, you know, she's got some, um, health issues going on right now that she's dealing with, but it does not stop her. That girl crafts and she's great. You know, she does beautiful doll work and, um, just really fun. So you should go check her out. I love her channel. Then Craft and Buy the Pond, Miss Paula. You don't want to miss Miss Paula. Um, she's always doing great shares. Then there's uh, Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker. Absolutely fun. Love her to pieces. Go check her out. And then also Crafting and Relax and Miss Sarah. <clears throat> Love these ladies. And there's actually tons of channels that I follow. I follow them the most, though. There are other channels I follow um, for different reasons. Um... There's a family, they're not crafting, but they're kind of, they're kind of homesteaders, but they're not, but they're called, uh, they're originally called Out in the Country, O-I-T-C. So if you go on YouTube and do O-I-T-C, it'll come up and it'll actually say like DIY different, if that makes sense. But they're completely renovating their property and they homeschool. They're just a really... I don't think they're as young as they look, but I really look forward to them. And then I like crime. Um, I like to watch crime uh, investigation videos and anyway, all kinds of stuff. Oh, and furniture refinishing videos. Love those. Okay. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So there's that. Number six, my favorite colors. So for the craft room, y'all been following along. You know that it is blush pink. Hello. And like a soft mint. But when I was little, my favorite color was blue. As an adult, I actually have um, <clears throat> three. Green, yellow, and blue. Actually, blue being the least. Um, I would probably say like this color of green is more my cup of tea. And then... A really soft, earthy yellow. 
um, you know, like you find the in like some pretty yellow roses and uh, soft blues or like really deep navy, like rich, rich blues or royal blue, something like that. So those are my colors. I know kind of all over the place, but that's me. My favorite crafty tools. So I have a couple and um, adhesive. I found this adhesive. I was a um, Tombow girl forever, but I found these um, about a year and a half ago. It's called Kokyo and they are dot liners. It's actually cheaper. I believe I ordered them on Amazon. It takes a while to get them because they ship from Japan, I believe. You can get them on like Simon Says Stamp, but they cost way more if you do that. So I'm just telling you. But you've got the dot liner long and then you've got the regular dot liner. And I love them both. And these are refillable. You just come on. Come on off of there. Great. It's not. I can't do it now. I gotta unlock it. Sorry. So that's how you unlock it and then you just pop the cartridge out so really easy they're really sturdy um love these and then you have the little one and these ones here you just kind of pop it come on and pop out i don't do it all the here we go there we go so you pop you squeeze it and then you pull it out and then these guys here and I buy these refills in bulk on Amazon. That's where I get the best price. Um, if you're interested, you know, the links are down below. But love these. Glue. I love art glitter glue. Um, I use that a lot. I don't have any handy right now. But love art glitter glue. I also love micro tip scissors like this. Before thinlets. I used to adore fussy cutting and my friends always laughed at me because this is how I hold my scissors when I fussy cut. Um, my hands don't cramp as much and I can, you know, I just move the paper and go along and um, I get a nice smooth cut. So any micro tip scissors. I do love these, but um, there's also my cutter bees and then uh, I have a small Tim Holtz one that I use. So, but yeah, my friends always laugh when I fussy cut because this is how I hold my scissors. There's that. And uh, my paper trimmer. I love a good paper trimmer and Fiskars, hands down, any tie. And I've got a lot. So like, here's my big boy. Oops. My big one this one is the the dual rail dual rail and it folds out then i've got the small one that's or well it's not really small but the one that has the wire guide love that uh fiskers just really stands behind their product so um that's why i love fiskers so those are my favorite oh and glue dots i love glue dots and pop dots oh my gosh i'm a pop dot junkie because i love dimension in all my projects so yeah, where did I get my love of crafts? So I, I've discussed this before. I was really fortunate. My mom um, raised my sisters and I basically by herself. And um, we would at times make, um, make gifts because, you know, she, you know um, it was cheaper to make gifts. And they were always beautiful. My grandmother is an amazing um, quilter. And so I've been quilting all, you know, started, I believe, when I was eight. But even before then, there was cross stitch. There was the, the you know, the latch hook rugs. There was that. We just always had crafts of one form or another. So I would say I probably started about six or seven. So, and, and so it comes from my, my family, my mom, my grandmother, my grandfather is an amazing, is amazing with wood. And so when I was little, I would always play in the wood shop when he was building whatever he was building. So, but between them, I would say they are my 
biggest influence, but all, all my family is um, creative in one form or another. Uh, when, oh, I already said that. When did I start crafting? Yeah, I was, like I said, I think I was six, six or seven. So there's that. And what has been my favorite craft so far? It would be quilting. Even though I haven't quilted in years, uh, mainly just because I haven't had the space and I've just been so busy. Um, I love quilting. It, you know, it takes, you know, it takes patience. But in the past, like if I was really stressed or anything, I could go quilt and I just kind of got lost, if that makes sense. Um, I just, I just really enjoyed it. And then again, 3D art. Uh, I just take great satisfaction in taking basically something that is 1D, you know, paper, and turning it into some great big object that is pretty. As, uh, as Paula said, make all the pretty things. So, so yeah. So, but I do... I am really wanting, I'll say I really want to get into watercolor. Um, I have bought a lot of watercolor, but I haven't started yet. And uh, beading. I want to get into beading. And um, so I'm slowly getting all the supplies for that. So those are crafty info about me. Now... To tag some channels. I can't tag Artsy because she tagged me. So I'm going to tag the Mad Crafter. Paula, Crafting with by the Pond. My friend P, Whimsical Endeavors. And Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker. Um, ladies, I hope that you guys will take the challenge. i love to learn more about you. Um, if you're busy, I mean... I, I think I was challenged Sunday or Monday and I, like I said, meant to do it on Thursday, but you know, life's busy. So, I mean, if, if, if you take the challenge, but you don't do it right away, I get you. Um, cause life, life always, you know, takes priority and, um, you got our obligations. So, um, I hope you like what you learned about me. Um, if you want to know anything else, um, feel free to ask. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to share. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I got to go fold a little bit of laundry and um, call it a night. I will I will be on tomorrow. Actually, there should probably be a couple videos tomorrow because um, I'm behind. I had videos that I wanted to do. And like I said, I just wasn't feeling it this week. So love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.